Hey everyone, it's me again with another great video. Um, uh, on this video, um, one of my subscribers he had pointed out he wanted me to do a uh, eye contact video. So here's what I'm going to do. And mind you, eye contact is very important. That's one of the most, if not one of the first things you need to teach your dog after or puppy after potty training. So here's what you do. Get you some nice treats. Also, be mindful what type of treats you have because you don't want to have no crummy treats because then your dog will start picking up crumbs off the ground or carpet or floor while you're trying to train them. So you always want to make sure you have something you know, like some kibble, if they're probably like some kibble, don't start off with no high value uh, treats because if you do, um, they become devalued as the dog get over. So, with like a puppy, you want to start off with, 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 with kibble, you know what I'm saying, because they really don't know and stuff like that. And then as they get older, then you can start giving them high value treats as far as like chicken or hot dogs and stuff like that because you want to need them type of things once you go out outside your house you know you get out there in that world you know you you you, you want to need those type of treats to re to help reinforce uh that behavior you know and um so me and precious we got some little hot dogs i done cut up you know really past my bedtime but i promise these people that I was going to try to do this video for them, so I'm up and I'm here. So let's get with it. Okay, same. Now, when you're starting off with this type of, with this, what you want to do, put some in your pocket. Don't try to put them all in your hand and try to make sure you don't spill none. Because if you spill them and your dog is not conditioned to not touch it or pick them up while you're jumping, then you, you, you got to start all over. You know? And your dog will be sniffing the ground and going to want to find something and then it's just going, then you got to bring it back into focus. So here's what you do. Take the treat. You want to hold the treat up to your face because your dog is so used to looking at your hand, you got to get in the main eye contact with you, not your hand. Because most dogs, they want to they want to follow the hand and go see what's in your pocket and, and wash your hands. So you want the focus to always be on you. You know, let them know that the treats got to come through you, looking at you before they get to your hand, before they can re get rewarded. So here's how you do it. You start like this. Don't add on a command until they understand what you're teaching them. And as long as she looks at me, I say yes. You know? Yes. And you can always say, good, good watch. Yes, and then I reward. Good, watch me. Good, yes. And make sure you space your markers out. Don't say yes, yes, yes like that because the dog needs to understand the difference between the behavior that, she, that they did and what they get rewarded for. So you always want to make them two things crystal clear. They do the behavior, you mark it, then you reward it. So I would say, yes. Now being as though she already knows knows it, I can add on a I can add on I can add on a, a, a verbal command. Watch me. Yes. You see you see that? Good. Good watch. Watch me. Yes. Now, now that once your dog or puppy understands what you want them to do, then you can start adding on a little distraction. So I would take one hand. I still got my hands up because I want her to look at me. I can say, I'm going to distract her with my right, but I'm going to feed her with my left. Good. Yes. You know? And that's how you do it. That's how you maintain and you get focused eye contact out of your dog or puppy. Good. Good. Now I can wiggle it. Bring it back. Yes. 
You know, then I then I, I deal with it. I do with this hand. She's maintaining eye contact. Good. I say good. Let know she's doing good. Yes. And I reward. Straight like that. I still hold it out there. Good. Good girl. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Good. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Take out some more. Watch me. Watch me. Good watch. Yes. See how she watches me? And that's how you want your dog to be. Watch me. Now I can do both hands. Because she knows ain't nothing going to stop her from getting that reward. You know? Watch me. See how Red Turner looks at me? Yes. Because she understands what I want her to do. Then I can add on some more distraction, build up duration. Now I can take both hands and wiggle them at the same time. Watch me. Good. Good girl. Yes. Bridge is the bridge when good is the bridge word. So anytime I say good while I'm while, while I'm while she's of uh, uh, doing a duration behavior, I say good because that's letting her know that she's doing something good. Keep doing what you're doing. I like that. So Good is, is, is just a good way of letting her know that she's doing something right. So now, what I'm about to do, I'm going to add on one of her toys. I've never gave her a toy. I've never did anything but what y'all see me doing. So this is going to be a new tour, and y'all tell me how, how she does. This is one of her favorite toys. Watch me. Yes. I even shook it. Watch me. Yes. Good girl. You know? She's looking at it, but she only gets to look at it after I reward it. Because she's already been awarded so she can look at it. But when I say watch me, Watch me. Ah, 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 ah. Watch me. See, she's not looking, so I say ah, ah. As long as she's looking at the toy, she's not gonna get nothing. Good watch. Yes. See, as long as she may ain't cop. Let me. Let's go. Let's come a little closer so they can see you, baby. Watch me. Yes. She looks directly at me in my eye. If she knows that she likes the toy, but she wants to reward more. So I'll try to trick her. I'll go like this. Watch me. Bye. Yes. See, she knows. Naturally, she's going to want to look at the toy and play with the toy because that's what she wanted to do. But she's understanding fast. You see how fast she's picking up because I've already laid the foundation. This is just another, another roadblock that she's about to knock down. So, I would say, watch me. Yes. You know, because she did good. So now, I'm going to try one more thing. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop the toy and see what she does. Watch me. Good watch. Good. Ah, no. Pick it back up and I'll try it again. Watch me. Yes. Now you see that? She was about to look down, but she, she looked right here. <laughs> she ain't looked all the way down. So that's what she wanted to do. And, and it's easy, like. Once your dog get that focus on, can't nothing stop her. You know, but it starts in the house, man. I, I tell people a lot. Don't try to take your dog outside when your dog's not ready. Make sure 
you've done your homework at home first before you try to add on distractions and venture outside. Come here, Stinky. Come on. Yeah. Yes. And make sure you pay her for everything she do. Hey, girl. Watch me. Yes. And she knows. Watch me. Good watch. Good. See? She never look. Watch me. No, watch me. Watch me. Good. Good watch. Good. Good watch. Yes. You see that? She heard it. You see her ear. So now I had to give her two. Good mm. girl. And that's basically how you do it, man. And then you just be consistent, you know. But like I said, any puppy or dog that, that you're trying to train and you want them to watch you, you know, Whenever they look at you, start off at a puppy. Even if they just look at you for a hot second, yes, you mark them and reward them. And eventually, it's going to click in their head and then it's going to boom. They just, and they're going to be able to tackle down any, any distraction that you want. And, but it starts with baby steps. You know, you do baby steps, then you step it up. Okay, okay. Now she can have her tool. You know, it starts with baby steps. And then gradually work your way up. You know, so I appreciate you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, until next time, bond for life. Oh, but also let me mention, you know, I love dog training. This is what I do. I don't do it for, for little or nothing, but it's my passion. Money doesn't really mean nothing to me. It's just I love dogs, and this is what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? But and I ain't getting nothing for this, you know, so if anybody, you know, anybody generous want to, you know, throw something to the cash app or whatever, my cash app is uh, money sign Aqua King with two G's at the end. And uh, I, really appreciate, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm able to provide this content for y'all and I really appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great night. Cause I'm about to get some rest. Till next time, bonding for life.